Let me show you how I transform this cheap hatchet from Amazon into this using a fiber laser, a vector pattern, and some AI graphics. Before we do anything, I need to make a template for this hatchet since it's a goofy shape and I want to work edge to edge across the entire surface. The template for this design will actually be two separate files because there are two separate horizontal planes. The axe body here is nice and flat, so we're going to use that as one file. But the blade here kind of curves and tapers down a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. And because I want to do something special on the blade section, I'm going to be safe and design this as two separate files. With our template outline complete now, I need to come up with some graphics to engrave on the hatchet. When I was holding these, it was kind of giving me Nightwolf from Mortal Kombat vibes. I remember playing that back in the mid 90s. It was one of my favorite characters. So let's do that. We'll do a tribute to Nightwolf from Mortal Kombat. For the background, I'm gonna use one of my favorite vector scroll patterns. I just love the way this pattern looks on metal. For my graphics, I'm gonna use AI to generate some assets for me. I ran a couple of different prompts in mid-journey, but was struggling to find something that was speaking to me. I finally settled on the following prompt. Nightwolf from Mortal Kombat as a vector, black on white, wearing a bandana, not a hat. Looks more like the movie version of Nightwolf, but that's okay. I'll add his face paint later on in Illustrator. For my wolf graphic, I used the following prompt. A Roy Lichtenstein pop art comic book style drawing of a scary wolf running, simple, black and white, vector, black on white background. After log tracing the AI images into vector format, I spent some time blending them into the background pattern. I want to give it a more integrated feel as opposed to just stacking the graphics on top of the pattern and calling it a day. For the icing on the cake, I want to do something special for the blade section. So let's do some color engraving or more correctly stated color marking for a nice effect. So I bust out the drawing tablet and start filling in the background of the scroll, which I will assign for color marking later in Lightburn. Here's a look at our final artwork. We're ready to rock and roll. Moving over to Lightburn, let's start by engraving, annealing, and color marking the blade. Thank God for Lightburn sublayers, otherwise this would be a nightmare to set up. I'll be using my 60 watt OMG laser, air assist, and apparently a Bic pen to prop up my knife blade to keep it level. Hey, whatever gets the job done. First, let's engrave. With the engraving done, now it's time to blacken the engraved area by annealing the metal. Annealing works by creating a chemical reaction on the surface of the metal. It's a really slow and boring process to watch. And not only that, my settings weren't completely dialed in here. I think it was a little bit too much power.
Now let's do the color marking. First, I run a couple of really light cleaning passes across the areas that we'll be color marking. I wanna remove any dust that may have landed on top of the surface. Now to lay down the color. I have it tuned to a blue color, but I'm expecting a gradient of blue to purplish when it's finished since the blade isn't completely flat. Having a MOPA fiber laser makes this much easier since I can change the cue pulse width in addition to the frequency. All done and you can kind of see some of the color marking popping through, but it's still dirty and we'll need to clean this up later. Moving on to the body section of the hatchet. For cleanup, I didn't do anything crazy, just a microfiber cloth with some acetone to remove the nasty stuff and a couple of light runs on the polishing wheel. And here's a look at our finished hatchet. I'm super happy with how this came out, especially the color marking section because I was a late addition and I didn't test it and I wasn't sure what was gonna actually happen when I did it, but it looks like everything came together all right. While you're still here, if you're interested in learning how to use a fiber laser to engrave things like we did in this video today, I'm working on a beginner's course as we speak. It's gonna be called Fiber Laser Ignite, and it's gonna be more of a quick start boot camp style course designed to get you up and running even if you've never used a laser before. It'll be focused on learning your fiber laser with Lightburn, and I'm gonna be designing all of the projects and files that go along, so it'll be more of a learn by doing approach. We'll tackle the basics, go up through engraving photographs, all the way to using depth maps to do the ever popular 3D style engraved coins. I haven't nailed down all the details yet, but if you're interested in hearing updates as things progress, there's a link in the video description below. It is not the same as my email newsletter list, this list will be specifically for Fiber Laser Ignite updates. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.